telling you, Joe, there's nothing to steal in here but old junk. What are we gonna steal, this crummy old TV set? And in other news, the mayor's office has plans for a special tribute to the teenage heroes known as the Monster Warriors. This comes off the heels Shh. of the Warriors' Shut latest that off triumph and come here. Look at this. Think there's diamonds and stuff in there? Let's take it anyway. If there's nothing in it, we can always sell the barrel. Good thinking. Whoo, man! Jimbo, that is some stink. You must have hit a skunk or something. You have to pull over. Oh, it's coming from back here. Joe, get out of the truck. What's going on? Just get out. We gotta run. Now! I make the monsters big. what it is you're looking for, I might be able to help. Oh, oh. My latest creation, Miss Gore. It's only half completed, but it's gone! <laughs> and so to say, thank you, warriors. Capital City will create a parquette with a brand new kitty playground in your name. And we will call it Monster Warrior Parkette. Um, thank you, sir. We, uh, we think that the kids of Capital City will enjoy a new playground. That's <clears throat> Oh, man. Mine was like that? Look like such a tool. No, you don't. You look handsome. But my hair, though. Was anyone going to tell me it's orange? Well, I, for one, am totally against this entire celebrity thing. I mean, it's just basically an unwanted and unanticipated byproduct that has nothing to do with our real task, which is monster fighting. Well, look, if there's gonna be attention drawn to us, at least it's about a place kids can go play and... And this is the place Superintendent McClellan has chosen to be the new Warriors Parkette. That's right, folks, the old city brickyards will soon be crawling with youngsters. <laughs> the old city brickyard is gonna be our new Warrior Parkette? Are they serious? Yes, sir, folks, it looks like the city is serious. With the opening ceremonies only a day away, Superintendent McClellan assures that as long as the kids are careful and step around the bricks, no one will be hurt. <laughs> oh. This is impossible. I haven't the foggiest idea how to recreate my original mixture. <laughs> How does this happen? A person doesn't just lose a 55-gallon carbon steel drum! Klaus, you might want to take a look at this. The brickyards, well known to be a dumping ground for old garbage and even oh. barrels like this one here, has been the cause of concern and controversy... That's my barrel! Oh. That's my barrel! Oh. But However, why is it empty? And what is it doing in this terrible place? This place isn't just decrepit, it's a mess. Boy, well, City Hall's are gonna have their work cut out for them if they're gonna have this all cleaned up for the opening day. We love you, Antonio! <laughs> Friends of yours? I have absolutely no idea. They seem to know you. Looks like fame's cut up for you, Antonio. 
You've got your own little fan club. A what? Uh, but why me? Maybe they go alphabetically, like hurricanes. Guys, check this out. Looks like some sort of fungus. A red fungus? Ugh. Did you guys smell that? Oh, that is so gross. Maybe a dead animal? That's what I was wondering. There's something back there. It was there and it disappeared. I know it. Okay, well, let's go check it out. But be careful. Why is that smell getting stronger? It was right here, and then it was gone. Except that it's gone. Where did it go? It was right here. Debbie, no! It might look like it's not there anymore, but it's still there. What do you mean? It can make itself invisible. A self-camouflaging, brick-eating blob. It can't be good. Good? It's terrible! A giant blob on the new site of the Monster Warrior Park Cat. I mean, jumping June bugs. What's next? Uh, well, sir, that's why we think it would be wise to rethink tomorrow's ceremony altogether. There's also the matter of the state of the brickyard itself. But I was told that was all cleaned up. I'm afraid not, sir. All in all, it seems best to postpone the entire ceremony. But Luke, we're all set up to go for tomorrow. It's all been planned. You know, honoring our own city pride, the majesty, the pomp, the circumstance. And they're gonna have pop, too. I understand that, sir, but we need more time. Antonio and Vanka are checking out any connection to Klaus von Steinhauer right now. And I'm very close to working out the details of how we can capture our monster. I mean, Blob, sir. Really? You got something amazing planned, huh? Let me guess. A supersonic, hyped-up, space-aged monster warrior invention. Well, sort of. Think jelly and an industrial vacuum cleaner. Yeah. All right, I'll give you another day. But only a day. One of Klaus von Steinhauer's all-time best films. That's what the blob did? It just absorbed everything in its path? Yeah, like a big rolling stomach of goo. In the next scene, you can see the guy right through the blob costume. <laughs> What's not to love? <laughs> This time, I think Von Steinhauer recreated his monster chemically. At least, that's what the odor would suggest. My guess is that it's some sort of dynamic cell-like structure that... Um, do you know if they have this in DVD? That is a DVD. You're so smart and hot. It was an honest mistake. They're just trying to be nice. Don't tell me you're into this whole fan thing. No, 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 of course not. It's just... It's flattering, that's all. With Tabby's new modified turbo vac, this shouldn't take long. Shouldn't take long to find either. Ugh, that smell is something else. Does it look bigger to you? Definitely. Whoa, did 
Did you guys see that? So far, it's doing exactly what the one in the movie did. It just absorbs everything in its path like a giant sponge. Antonio, turn on the turbo back. Uh-oh. Looks like it knows what we've got in mind. We can't let that thing disappear again. I'll act as bait. Okay. Nice work, Antonio. Vanka, are you okay? Do I smell okay? What happened? You get distracted by your little fan club? Look, guys, uh, the real issue here is that we got the blob and tomorrow's ceremony can go ahead. Just hope the city's cleaners are able to clean it up in time. I keep trying and trying, but it's still not right. I guess I'll never be able to recreate my new life form again. Mm. You know, Klaus, maybe we're going about this all wrong. Why don't you just go get the barrel from the brickyard? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Well, there might be some goo left in it. And if you had some goo, then maybe you could make more? That's right. If there's anything left in the barrel... Yes, sir, folks, Dink Dorman here live from what will soon be known as the Monster Warriors Parkette. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dink, uh, that's right, Dink. Uh, uh, the ceremony's about to start in a couple of minutes, and uh, we expect the Monster Warriors any minute now. Grab your things, Missy. They're off to the brickyards. Sorry we're late. We weren't sure what to wear to the... Antonio, we're supposed to be getting ready for the ceremony. We have a problem here, guys. You're still working on the chemical compound to dilute the thing in the turbo vac? Yeah, and it looks like I've stumbled upon something that's a little worrisome. Such as? Well, science has discovered that in most cases of a single cell organism, the single cell reproduces itself by splitting. I believe the blob is a single cell organism, and that all evidence suggested by its size indicates that it would have reproduced itself by now. Reproduced itself? So you mean... The term is daughter cell. It's a term used to indicate a new generation. Meaning we may have only trapped a daughter blob in the turbo bag. Exactly. Which means there's a mommy blob still out there somewhere. And if that's true, then I know what we're wearing to the ceremony. Come on, guys. It's monster time. close enough to see the contents of that barrel. <laughs> oh, but it's so far away. That's why when I look at Capital City, it's easy to compare it to the very best of above ground swimming pools. Like I say, the Monster Warriors are here. Keep your mind on single-cell organisms, okay? Sir, uh, um, I, I think we may have to stop the ceremony and send everyone home. Send everybody home? But look why? We already got the blob? See, sir, that's the problem. If Antonio's right, there may be another one. You mean there could be more than one giant blob intent on eating the city? Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Is that, um, <clears throat> the warriors here want to make sure 
that there are no such creatures let loose in Capital City. Now, as for me, I know that Capital City is 100% safe. Mr. Mayor, look out! Oh. <laughs> Something has gone terribly wrong here. The mayor, it looks like he was just, well, absorbed by some giant blob-like creature. It went that way. OK, we got to save him before she digests him. I think we know what happened to the contents of my barrel. <laughs> oh, and it's a beautiful creature. More beautiful than anything I could have created in the movies. Oh, I love your blob. Oh, you're beautiful. Get them. <laughs> right now, it looks like the monster warriors are going into attack mode to see if they can handle this giant blob. How long do you think the mayor has? Not long. Whoa! Over there. That was the mayor's voice. I'm sure of it. He's still alive, but where is he? Come on, you giant blob of goo. Show yourself. Cough up our mayor. Tanya, look out. Whatever a blob is, it doesn't bode well for the leader of our fair city. Hang on, Mel. Hang on. We can use the turbo back on my count. One, two. Folks, it's incredulous pandemonium. The monster warriors certainly have their work cut out for them this time. All this reporter has got to say is... is... There it is! Folks, this story just gets more and more incredulous. Time is ticking by, and with it, the chances that this story will have a happy ending. Will the Warriors attempt to vacuum up the blob succeed? Will the Warriors get to the mayor in time? Will Capital City ever be the same again? I don't know. It's, a, it's so blobby. I... There it is! He's cornered. Let's get him. from this tragedy. Monster Warriors. I'm just glad you're all right, sir. I don't know what the city would do without you. Oh, <sighs> thanks. I just hope you girls are all safe. It was a tough one, but we managed to pull it off. If you want some autographs, uh, I think I have some time right now, so... Really? Do you think you could also introduce us to Luke? Luke? Uh, but didn't you want... He was so cool fighting the blob. But... But... Fame, in case you didn't know, is fleeting. Apparently. I could have sworn she was going to eat the mayor. Oh, and now I have no way of replicating her. It's okay, Klaus. We'll get him next time. Mm. He'll come up with something new.
I don't get it. You don't think that Klaus von Steinhauer has changed his ways and is no longer recreating monsters from his own movies, do you? <laughs> now it's Luke's turn. I told you it was alphabetical. What are you talking about? And who's outside? You'd better take a look. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> so how does it feel to have your dating pool rated? Dating? I'm not really interested in dating. Ever? Well, not any of those girls from the fan club. I mean, it'd have to be a certain kind of girl. I think I know what you mean. And from the mayor's office, this report. Mayor Meldine has announced that the abandoned Capital City Brickyard is being sealed up until further notice. And the Monster Warriors Park will be relocated to an alternate, uh, uh, re-location. So now we don't even have a park. That's okay. I don't think any of us are in this for a park anyway, are we? <laughs> <laughs>